Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to Morning Meditation with Mrs. Santiago and our other friend, Byram. Say hi, Byram. Byram is so happy to be with all of you this morning. He's so excited. Well, I'm going to start right away to read you this little short story and then we're going to talk about it. Who do you want to be? Who do you dream to be someday? Answer the questions and use your imagination. What do you love to do when you have free time? How do you want to help others feel? Beautiful, strong, healthy, or kind? Who do you want to be someday? Here are some ideas. A teacher who helps others learn to be kind. A baker who feeds the community. A doctor who helps kids get healthy and strong. A firefighter who is so brave. An author who sparks imagination. A basketball player who inspires people to never give up. A hairdresser who loves to make others feel beautiful and confident. An engineer who solves problems and creates new inventions like computers. In games, a singer whose music makes people want to dance. <clears throat> Close your eyes and picture yourself in the future. You can be anything that you imagine. Talk about it and later draw a picture of it. And dream about it as much as you can. You were born with amazing gifts that are already inside of you. When you dream about helping others, you feel ready to do great things in the world now. You want to imagine the great things you will do and how you can help others now and in the future. Your imagination is magical because you can create whatever you want in your head and make it happen in real life. You will become who you dream you can be. Dream big. <clears throat> My throat is a little scratchy today. But let's take and close our eyes for a minute. And we're going to think about the future and who we want to be. Okay? And Byram is going to do the same thing. Byram, close those eyes. Oh, he's going to try. Okay. Let's close our eyes. Let's listen to that soft, beautiful music in the background. And let's imagine ourselves not little people anymore, but big people that can make a big difference in the future. That can really be an amazing person. That could do great things. You can do it. You can be anything you want to be. You got to work hard, though. You got to make sure that you go to school and do your schoolwork. And if you want to be an engineer, you need to know your math. Engineers are really good at math. If you want to be a math teacher like Ms. Dick Gregorio, you have to know math, too. Or you could be a teacher that does other things, teach Spanish, if you go learn another language, or if you know two languages. Just think about it. You could do anything you want. Open your eyes. Byron, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I hear him. Guess what, boys and girls? Byron wants to be a teacher. Yes, yay! Byron is so excited. When he grows up, he wants to be a teacher. Right, Byron? Yes, he does. So he's got dreams too. That little bit of time when he closed his eyes for a minute and he just felt everything feel so good and listened to that. As he was listening to that music, he knew in his heart when he opened those eyes, what he wants to be when he grows up. So I think I know, Byram, you're going to have to do your eye ready and your zern and read lots and lots of books. Okay, Byram? 
Yes, he's going to do it, guys. He's going to be great. And I know each and every one of you can be great, too. And I've got some names of some friends that are great. Here we go. Aliyah, Angel, Elian, Jerialis, Nala, Janik, King, and Ariane. Thank you so much for your reading and epic and I ready. You guys are amazing and I wanted to do a shout out for all of you, okay? You keep doing great work and those of you that haven't gotten into I ready and epic and Zern, make sure you do. It's gonna help you be who you wanna be when you get older. Your work is important and you can do it. Have a great, great weekend, my friends. Bye, Miss Santiago and Byron says bye. Bye, my friends. Be good and do good.